Hi there and welcome to Rate My Cigar. Today we're going to be smoking the Parker to Gas Lusitanius. Now this cigar, I'll show you the actual whole box that it comes in. These come in a box of 10. This box is May 2023. Now, it's a full box I purchased. I picked this up when I was in Spain. And if I can just get one of these out. Now, this is a, a 49 ring gauge and it's seven inches and five eighths. Now, this is a quite a large cigar if I'm honest. I'm just going to literally cut this and light it. I've been looking forward to it from the minute I actually found the box that was for sale when I purchased. So I'm just going to get on and light this. So this cigar, in the UK, it retails at £96. That is a lot of money. <clears throat> this is supposed to be a very, very, very good stick, I've been told. That's very creamy, very creamy for the first draw. I've started to smoke um, and start to become a, a big fan of past gas. Over the, um, I think it's probably over the last sort of nine months, I'm starting to like them more and more with the different cigars that I'm sort of finding from them. And I mean, the E2 is number four at the moment. Um, part of gas D5 is up there. I have got some, I have got P2s, I've got D4s, D6s, and I have got quite a few other types of part of gas as well, including limited editions that will be smoked on this channel as well in the future. But this, I've just been really wanting to smoke it. Now, it is quite a young cigar. That is, that is, that is really good. It's like a chocolatey, spicy. Mm. If There's a very, very small about, amount of spice there, right back in the background. It's just very, it's, it's like milky, creamy, just with, yeah, it's like milk chocolate. That's very good. Well, the construction on this looks very good. There's no big, big veins um, these these come in boxes of tens but I think they do a 25 box um, this is the first ever box I've seen for sale and it's the first actual cigar that I found of of this cigar so with that it's supposed to be a 90 minute plus cigar for smoking now this is the same size as the um, Gigantis. Now that cigar, I believe Chuck said he smoked that for virtually two hours almost. So I'm expecting the same sort of time really for this because that's exactly the same size 
it's even the same ring gauge as well I believe um, <clears throat> so and this is probably the most expensive cigar we've smoked so far I think yes it is yeah by a long shot so it'd be interesting to see where this actually comes on the board compared to the rest so I'm well into the second third now this cigar is been outstanding the burn on this is 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 hasn't been touched up at all it's good the construction the smoke output the taste of it's like wood spices it's very smooth and there is like a chocolatey cocoa milk or something there as well um well it's it, maybe cream i'm i'm not sure but whatever it is it's, it's doing it for me 100 percent um yeah i just i'm just really really annoyed i've never tried one of these before because they're very good so far mm, it's very good um these in europe um in spain are just just under half the price to buy um from what they are in the uk i would i'd I would I would be considering so far purchasing more but that could change or it could make me even more eager to buy more in the future but this is a young cigar I'm not I'm not getting it's a young cigar through smoking it but I do feel with some age on this this could be this could be a real real keeper so I'm into the final third now this is feeling like the biggest cigar I've had but in a good way it's got some really great flavors the burn on it is is really good and it's faultless there isn't anything bad about this cigar whatsoever on the retro hell there it isn't there isn't too much spice I have got the, the spice is ramped up a little bit now but it's literally at a probably a four or five out of ten it's the wood is is more prominent now the the spice the wood the the milky creamies in the background a little bit now but it's it's good it's it's what you'd expect there's some good flavors the burn's good this this i can't find anything i don't like about this cigar that's the end of uh, the final third I've actually smoked it, sat relaxing, and I smoked it off camera. If I'm honest, that is a very good cigar. I was I was pleasantly surprised. The, um, the smoke time on it was, I want to say, probably about hour and forty five minutes. So that's that's a good good amount of time. The the flavours on it, they ramped up a bit more towards the end. The the spice got a bit more prominent, the wood, um the the milky creamy sort of chocolatey flavour I was tasting, it it sort of faded at the end, but it was a very good cigar. Construction on it's very good. It was a young cigar, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put some away and age and to see what they're like in the future I think definitely would improve a lot and I'm going to look forward to that in uh, well the next time I decide to smoke one so I'm just going to rate this now so if I'm honest I'm going to put it here at the moment just because that one there was just it was just very very good um, I feel with a bit of age this would go a lot higher so that's that's the end of the review so if you liked it please give us a thumbs up if you could drop a comment in the box below let us know what you think of the cigar or you know or drop us a general comment and subscribe would be appreciated so we'll see you on the next video thank you